Before I came to know Christ, I feel that my life was totally shipwrecked. It was very, very messy. I looked for love and acceptance in all the wrong places. Um, I fell into alcohol and drugs. I had a raging eating disorder. I suffered from depression. It was very messy and very dark. And uh, I was immoral. I was in and out of the gay lifestyle. And I often thought about suicide, not because I wanted to die, but it was just too painful to live. I came to know Christ. I was commuting to work. I had an hour uh, to work, an hour back from work. And I just happened to be spinning the dials and I bumped into WAVA. So an hour to work, an hour back, I listened to all of the wonderful speakers that are on that radio station. And finally, after um, inviting Christ into my life many, many times, I truly felt like I had out His grace. And finally, one day, I realized I had not done that and that, that I received Christ into my heart. I'm coming to be baptized today because I feel like it's an act of obedience. And Jesus was baptized. So I need to do it because God word, God's Word says uh, to be baptized. And I want those people who know me to know that I'm obedient to God's Word. When I came to know Christ, I felt like I had been set free. That the love and acceptance that I so desperately had been working toward, I got that free. I didn't have to work for it. He loved me in spite of myself and He forgave everything I had done. And in fact, I knew in my heart of hearts that He created me knowing what I was going to do and knowing that He was going to forgive me for those things. So I really felt a freedom that I had never ever known before. There was such a burden lifted. Out of gratitude, I hope that I can always be a servant of His and I can always serve Him in whatever ways that He wants me um, as a servant. I want to be the godly woman that He has designed me to be. Well, Pat, your testimony is one of those that uh, is very, it's more dramatic in, in what God has done in your life. And I think in your case, it's one of those where those who are forgiven much, love much. And um, although we all have been forgiven a great debt, you know, those who experience that in the way that you have, I think you, uh, your love for the Lord is, uh, is very great as He has forgiven you. And there was a line in your testimony that struck me where you said you felt at one point that you had out God's grace. And then you came to that point where you realized you can't, you can't out God's grace. His grace is greater than anything that we have done or that we will do. And that is uh, that's God's power at work in, in your life and how he used uh, the radio station and the preachers there, you know, God's word coming through that uh, radio to, to touch your life and to change your heart and bring you to him. So that's very exciting and uh, I know that you are continuing to serve him in a great way and that um, to experience the freedom, true freedom, that only comes through Jesus Christ and that is a life-changing experience. And it's great for you to, to take this step today. So hearing your profession of faith and knowing that uh, you are trusting in Christ alone for your salvation, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit.